What is going on guys? Welcome back for another video and today I'm going to be going over how to pick the best duck gun for you. When it comes to picking a duck gun, there's a few criteria that you need to meet when you're picking your gun. There's a lot of guns out there on the market that are great for duck hunting and I've got some examples that I want to give to you guys and recommendations, but if I miss anything or you have something to say about a gun that I mentioned in this video, go ahead and leave it in the comments so then people can read what you have to say about it. So I've got my two guns right here that I've used for duck hunting in the past. And so there's a few things that I think every duck gun should have that you need to look at when you're buying your first duck gun. The number one thing that you need to look at is the gauge of the gun. I recommend getting a 12 gauge. There are 10 gauges out there that people use, but 12 gauge is gonna be the best one for you, regardless of what you're hunting. Doves, teal, ducks, geese, the 12 gauge will cover it all. It's gonna be very useful, and you can use it for multiple different things, not just ducks and geese. Another thing that you need to look at is the chamber. You wanna find out what size the chamber of the gun is. I recommend a three or a three and a half inch chamber. This SX4 has a three and a half inch chamber, but this Mossberg down here has a three inch chamber. So both of these will do great when it comes to duck and goose hunting. The next thing you wanna look at is the barrel length. This is a 28 inch barrel and so is my Mossberg. Duck guns also come in 26 inch barrels. So try them out, see which one you like, shoulder it, swing it, and just kinda of get a feel for it and feel which one you like the most. The last thing that you need to choose is what type of action do you want in your gun. This is a semi-automatic, so that means it's gonna cycle shells by itself. But my Mossberg here is a pump action. So those are the two actions that I really recommend for duck and goose hunting. You can get an over under or a break gun, but I recommend the semi-automatic or the pump. The semi-automatic is gonna be more expensive than the pump, but I think of it personally as more of an investment than trying to save a few pennies here and there because that semi-automatic, that Winchester SX4 I have is gonna last me a very, very long time if I take care of it. There's multiple different semi-automatics on the market right now. And so personally, I can recommend the Winchester SX4 to you guys. I've shot it, I've used it duck and goose hunting for a season and I absolutely love it. But there's also different ones that you can look at and I recommend taking a look at the Super Black Eagles, the Browning A5, the Beretta A500, and then the Stoger M5000. I believe that's what it's called. Take a look at all those. The Stoger is basically gonna be the Super Black Eagle, just a little bit cheaper, and I don't know if the build quality is the same or not. Leave it in the comments what you guys think if you guys have shot that gun compared to the Super Black Eagle. Um, I have no knowledge when it comes to that. So for semi-automatics, that's what I recommend you taking a look at. I do recommend the SX4. I bought this one. This is just the black three and a half inch model. I got it for about $900. The Super Black Eagle and the A5 and the A500 are going to be a lot more expensive, maybe two, three hundred dollars more, uh, maybe even upwards from that if you get the camo and whatnot. If you want to save some money, I would recommend taking a look at the pump action shotguns. They're generally going to be cheaper than the semi-automatics. They're just as good, you're gonna kill just as many ducks with them. Having a semi-automatic does not make you kill more ducks instantly. It's all about your shooting and knowing how to shoot and place your shot in the right spot. This is the good old faithful, everybody in the brothers got one of these, it's a Mossberg 500. And I currently don't use this gun because it's got a few issues with it. It's just kind of been beat up and used a lot and seen its better days. But it's still a gun that I can take out if I need an extra gun and whatnot. The biggest thing with it is this, when it's cold outside, the safety's hard to move, and then the trigger is also a little bit sticky sometimes. So like I pull it and it doesn't go, and then I pull it some more, it doesn't break cleanly. I would recommend this gun, and you know it, it did me well when I first started hunting. So if you're just getting into duck hunting and wanting to spend like $300 for a gun, this is a great option for you. Some of the other pump action shotguns that you should take a look at, the number one pump action shotgun that I recommend you get is a Benelli Supernova. I shot it in the past. Unfortunately, it was stolen and I was never able to recover it from that and that's kind of unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. The Supernova is awesome because it has the Comfort Tech stock compared to the Nova. The Nova is gonna be $100 cheaper, so you're gonna feel a little bit more recoil on that Nova than the Supernova. So go ahead, spend that extra $100 and get that Comfort Tech stock. I highly recommend it. If you get the base model, 28 inch barrel, with just black, not a camo one, you're gonna, it's gonna be about $550. So it's not breaking the bank by any means. Other pump action shotguns, kind of the lower, lower than that would be the uh, Remington 870. 
it's another tried and true gun that tons of people shoot and they love it. And so go ahead and take a look at the 870 if you're wanting to stay in kind of the $300 price range. And the last one is the Stoger P350. It's just like the Benelli, but it's not, it's made by Stoger. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about the build quality of that or any of that, but if you guys shoot that gun, leave it in the comments and tell people what you think of that gun. But those are the pump action shotguns I'd recommend you taking a look at. They're top top range for pricing if you get the camo and all that stuff. It's probably going to be $650 to $700. And then with the semi-automatics, it's going to be probably $900 plus. So when you're browsing the selection at the store, it's very important that you shoulder the gun and really give it a swing and shoulder it multiple times and get the feel of it so then you know exactly how they all feel when they come up to your shoulder and you get your head down on the stock. Different guns are gonna feel different. And then you also wanna pay attention to the weight of the gun and see how balanced it is. Some, some guns are more balanced towards the back, some guns are more towards the forward. Another thing I forgot to mention with the semi-automatics is there's gas and inertia driven. The Winchester SX4 is a gas driven gun, so it's a little bit heavier than the inertia driven guns, but it can handle the lighter loads better. Supposedly, that's what they say. But yeah, when you're browsing the selection, really try out all the guns that you're wanting to look at, shoulder them, find the ones that fit the best, and then go from there. So with all this being said, let me know what you guys think of these guns I mentioned, if you've shot them before. Tell me what gun you would buy if you went to the store. Leave it in the comments. I'd love to read them, and I'm sure people who are looking to get a new gun would like to hear your opinion as well. If you haven't already, subscribe to this YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with all the videos that are coming out. Hunting season's coming up, and things are about to get really exciting once that happens. Dove season, teal season, and then duck season's right around the corner. It's going to be a lot of fun. Follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. Follow me on there, stay up to date with what's going on. You'll get notifications when I post new videos, put pictures that I post, and other things like that. But that is all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.